he was hard on them in 1 Corinthians. And, you know, obviously he was dealing with an obstinate people because these people were pretty stubborn. You know, some of them were saying, he's not going to come. He's not going to do this. He's not going to do that. But once you start reading 2 Corinthians, you start getting the sense of, wow, these, actually, these people actually caught on. What happened? Because the guy who was committing fornication was cast out of the church. And it's, it's interesting because in 1 Corinthians, you have an extreme where, like, no one's doing anything about it. Well, in 2 Corinthians, they do do something about it, but now the problem lies in them forgiving the person who actually got it right, restoring him, comforting him, and welcoming him back into fellowship, which they were not doing. So they booted the guy out, but now they're not restoring the guy into fellowship. This guy repented, he got right with God, but, he was, but they weren't willing to receive him back into the fold. And so that basically sums up a lot of what 2 Corinthians talks about. But we're going to go through chapter number one here. And by the way, that's a good principle for us to realize, to learn, is that we need a balance of both. Okay? We can't be in balance in the Christian life. We need to rip face, but also give grace. Right? right? So we need to make sure that we rip face, that we don't compromise or tolerate sin in the church. We make sure that we don't, you know, uh, compromise on any of the, the doctrines that God says. But, you know, when someone gets it right, we need to show some grace. You know, some people would look at a church like ours and say, oh, you guys are so proud and you guys are so unforgiving. But you know what? It's impossible for you to say that we're proud because we're actually adhering to what God says. The proud person is actually the one in 1 Corinthians 5 who is glorying in the fact that they don't kick anybody out of the church. That's someone who's proud. That's someone who thinks they know more than God. Whereas to the church who adheres to the word of God is humble enough to recognize, hey, I don't want to be judged by God. I don't want our church to be judged by God. Therefore, we're going to execute these principles, these rules, and then when the person gets right, we welcome him back into the fold. Amen. So we got to make sure we rip face, but we show grace as well. Right. So when someone who's casted out of our church comes back and they've repented, don't give that person a hard time. Right. Don't remind them of what they did. Like, hey, you stopped fornicating. <laughs> hey, you still, you, so you got rid of the bottle. You're not drinking anymore. Uh, you're not being an extortioner anymore. That's good, man. Don't do that. There's no one who's ever done that, but Lest anyone think otherwise or think to do so, don't do that. Someone comes back, they've repented, they've gone right with God, welcome them with open arms, help them to just live out their life, to grow again. We all make mistakes, and we want to make sure that we show grace to the people who we've casted out in the past. Now look at verse number one. 